All right, you asked me uh, which are the uh, which is the most interesting Rolex for me personally in the auctions uh, these days, and um, honestly, I have to say uh, the the offers uh, put by Philips Auctioneer are really of a very high standard. So the best Rolex and the ones that are in my taste uh, the rarest and the nicest uh, is for instance the Cla Cloisonne uh, Rolex being uh, made by Marguerite Koch but also these uh, 8171 uh, which is much more my personal taste because it's in stainless steel in a fabulous condition which uh, sold for 830,000 euro all in so that's that's a, that's a, that was maybe for me personally the one that I interested I, I was seen I was most interested to see the result of so so you asked me what uh, is the best place to buy uh, for a great collector uh, nowadays uh, again uh, I think the auctions in Geneva is a good place to find the highest quality of watches that are around besides that you know uh, great collectors are always doing their effort to find uh, watches with uh, great dealers so uh, I mean there are really some great dealers uh, out there that are finding uh, untouched uh, first owner watches with great provenance in an exceptional condition so yeah um, then it's the question you know are you gonna auction a really rare watch or are you gonna sell it behind the scene to um, one of the private uh, collectors that are paying already the market price on much higher than uh, an auction uh, would do it's it's a difficult choice but um, I see a lot of dealers are finding difficulties find uh, having finding great watches at the moment so the market is drying up and I think we have to come to the conclusion that lots of watches are uh, found there's not much more to to discover maybe one two three maybe five to ten watches each year but not like the amount we found like five to ten years ago uh, on a much higher level when the market was uh, uh, on a lower uh, lower price level than it is now. Now we see uh, the watches that are really great that we found you could sell uh, 10 or 20 times. Lots of dealers are using their Instagram account and um, you see a lot of collectors are over there so the market of uh, demand and um, the market uh, of, of buying and selling a watch is uh, it's, it has become uh, very close, so uh, it's very easy to sell a watch. So, not that many are still pushing uh, their their watches on the website. So, uh, yeah. So Instagram is an option. Uh, the auctions is an option. Then, of course, building up a relationship with the dealer is an option because um, you know you have to find uh, a good dealer who trusts you and gives you also the opportunity to bring you the best quality for a reasonable price. So. That's that's a relationship you build up with somebody, and uh, you know it's not always about the money. It's always it's also to find uh, the right place uh, for a watch with 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 a person who's really really passionate. So uh, people know that I love uh, stainless steel sports Rolex, and uh, you know sometimes I I'm still very lucky to find great watches from great dealers that offer me them first. So I'm personally not a buyer on the auctions because I feel like everybody can buy on the auction and. Most of the great watches are not sold by auction, that's what I think. Of course there are great watches sold at auction, but again it's mainly because of getting the maximum of money and not getting it to the right person.